Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome back again for another Minecraft Snapshot. This is 13W16A for Thursday, April 18th, and we are now in Minecraft version 1.6. Woo! And uh, let's, let's go check out all the new stuff. I'm very excited, especially because, as you can see, we have some new animals, and uh, just ignore that for now. Let's get into it. Now, these are horses. They don't have any sound effects right now, and they're still very early on but a lot of the base gameplay uh, revolving around them is already in. Now, here's the horse spawn egg. They don't spawn naturally yet, but when they do, we'll probably find them in all the normal, you know, farm animal places. And right now, horses despawn if you don't tame them, and they may stay that way. Now, so let's go through the process. If you want to tame a horse, and this little guy is also here. He's a donkey. I'll get into him in a second. Now, if you want to tame a horse, you're going to need to find a wild one, most likely. So we'll go over here and just plop one down. So there's a horse. Now, if you want to break them, I'm going to go into survival mode real quick just to do this. If you want to break them, this is how you tame them. You jump on top of them, and you'll start moving around, and you need to kind of ride them a few times until they basically learn to love you, and you'll see some hearts fly out of them. And you're also going to notice while I'm riding this that when you're riding uh, minecarts, boats, horses, pigs, any of that, you no longer right click to get off of it. You have to use left shift or whatever button you bind to it. You might be able to change that in the future. But right now it's left shift. Uh, that was done so that you could also block with your sword and shoot arrows and place blocks and do stuff like that while you're mounted. So I think that's an improvement. Uh, the horses were developed uh, mainly with the help of Dr. Jark, who has worked on the Mo Creatures mod. Well, he seems to be okay with me now. Maybe he'll be fine. Uh, but so a lot of this you'll notice is in common with the Mo Creatures mod. Now the horse seems to be all right with me. I think we're gonna go. If you notice, the horse has health. Uh, you can see that down there. It's got its own little horse health bars. Uh, without a saddle you're not going to be able to ride the horse. So we're going to go back into creative and I'll show you some of the new items. Now the, the horse saddle is the first thing here. The The horse saddle is different from the pig saddle. It is specifically for horses and you can plop it on there. And now I'm able to ride around on my horse. Now if you, if you don't push anything you'll just stand still and you can kind of look around but use the arrow keys and you can start going pretty quick on the horse once you go. The horses seem to have different stats uh, you'll notice that they uh, some of them are a little faster than others it seems like some of them can jump higher some of them have more health things like that which hopefully we'll be able to breed and get some of the best characteristics out of our horses now you'll notice my experience meter is changed a little bit it is actually now the jump meter if you hold down the jump button and let go at the right time I think that was a perfect one there there you go you can let go at different times to get different jump heights but you can get some pretty serious jumps up to it's supposed to be uh, three and a half blocks I've been able to jump two blocks on the horse but I haven't been able to jump three blocks uh, trying to jump I have some fences and stuff I'll show you guys set up later in a nice little horse obstacle course but yeah so you have your horse now and uh, you've got him here now if you want to lead him around there is a new item in the tools it is in the data it's called the leash but they may change the name of that uh, this can be used on any animal as you can see I have this little mobile here with a bunch of them I'll get into that in a little bit too <laughs> but all you have to do with the leash is right click on the animal and then now I can actually walk around and the animal will follow me now this works on uh, almost it doesn't work on bats but it works on wolves mushrooms any of the farm animals cat uh, ocelots wolves that type of stuff I said wolves already now if you want to let go of them, just right click it again and it will drop the item and you can pick it back up. And if you have a fence post handy anywhere here, you can actually take the, the little leash here and lead them over and then right click the fence post. And there you go, you've tied them to there so they will stay around that fence post and just kind of hang out there until you need them again and then you can, uh, you should be able to just right click that, it drops it and there you go, you can pick it up again. So that is the main horse. Now the horse uh, stuff, now they also have armor, which you probably noticed over in my stables over here. Uh, there's three different types of armor, which I'll fly over and show you guys how to make them. And then we'll go back to the horses. There is iron armor, diamond armor, and gold armor. Now you, you, can, you have to make it in this kind of J shape, but you can make it in reverse and just put any color wool in the center. And there is your armor, very simple to make. 
Uh, the diamond one, right now it doesn't seem like they provide much protection for the horses, but I'm sure they will in the future, and also if you wear diamond armor you'll look a lot cooler. Now here's the horse saddle recipe if you're curious. It's five leather and three iron, same as the Mo Creatures one. A lot of these you'll notice, like I was mentioning, a lot of the textures and stuff have been taken over from the Mo Creatures, such as the horse armor. The, the leash thing has no recipe as of yet, so uh, we'll have to see about that one. Okay, so we want to take a good look at these horse armors. There's the iron armor for you guys, and here is the gold. Sometimes the horses will do a nice little grazing animation, which is cool. And here is the diamond armor. Now you'll notice I have a lot of different breeds of horses here. There are actually seven different base colors for the horses. Uh, black, brown, chestnut, creamy, dark brown, gray, and white, and then there's also four coat variations, such as the white dot that you see here, and the white field, which a bunch of these guys seem to have, is uh, the huge white splots. There's also just like a white mark that's on the bottom of their legs and their head, and, and a uh, black dot type thing. I'll spawn a bunch of horses over here so you guys can try to get a nice look at all the different horse types. Now there's actually three... Whoa, there's a lot of guys here. Now here's the black dot thing I was talking about on the back of this little foal, and that's also showing off the little lanky-legged foal. These are the baby horses that you'll get when you breed them. And let me see if I can find one with a white... This is the white mark on the head and the legs. That's the other variation. And then this black one here, he actually has no variation on him, so he is just the normal one, I believe. Unless he's got the dark back. I don't think he does. He might actually... Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's, it's black, so you can't really see it. I believe they have to have one of the four variations, because I don't see... Oh, okay, so this one doesn't have any... There we go. So that's just a base horse color right there. That is the chestnut one, I believe. Uh, and there's the creamy. Yeah, there's just a lot of different horse variations, as you can see. And there's also the donkey. Now, the donkey has something special you probably noticed over here. You can actually put a chest on the donkey by just right-clicking on him. Right now, you can't actually open the chest. There's not really a way to do that, but in the future, we're assuming that you will be able to uh, use that chest to store stuff on your adventures. Now, there's actually three other horse breeds that uh, aren't implemented yet, because this is still very early in the 1.6 development. And I'm going to cut to show you guys those three right now, or I'll just put the footage as I'm talking. The three are a mule, which is a uh, mix between a donkey and a horse. And then there's also the skeleton horse and the undead horse. And as you can see, they're using the coat variations because I basically just took the textures and replaced them with other ho uh, replaced other horse textures with these ones just to show you guys. But those aren't how they're actually going to look, I'm guessing. You won't have a skeleton horse with spots or stuff like that. <laughs> But, uh, so those are those three. Uh, in Mo Creatures, the skeleton and the undead horses, zombies and skeletons can uh, actually ride those into battle. So we'll probably see that, I'm going to guess, uh, since Dr. Dr. Jark has had a huge influence on the mod, or uh, the way that horses have been implemented so far. So yeah, those are those three horses that we, you can't see them yet, uh, but I put the textures in for you guys to see. Um, you're probably wondering, we'll get back to horses some more in a sec, but you're probably wondering what this is. This is the hay bale that was teased way back, uh, I think a couple months ago during Mojam or so. Uh, there's no crafting recipe for it now, but it is, we're probably going to use either four or nine wheat to craft it. And you can actually lay it in all the different directions like a piston or wood block. And uh, it looks pretty good as a roof. Uh, if I could get rid of the red bands on it, it would probably look even better as a roof. But I like the little, you know, banded together, it looks pretty good when you're laying the little the bales down around the area. So that's pretty cool. Now horses, uh, we'll go back to them because I want to show you guys breeding. Now if I take some wheat, uh, I can actually breed them here. So let's grab this guy. Oops. I want to try to feed him this wheat. I think he needs to have health down or something. See, right now it's a little tricky because if you right click, you just get on top of them. Let me try to feed one of these rando horses and see if they'll breed. So here's one. I'll feed him a bunch of wheat. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be working. So we're supposed to be able to breed them with wheat is, is the idea, but so far I don't think we can actually breed them. If you want to raise a horse easier, like have one that you won't, it won't be as hard to break, you can actually go up to one of the foals that you'll find, and then you can either feed them with apple, golden apple, the special golden apple, 
or wheat. I believe sugar might actually work too. Let's try that out. Yep, there we go. And as you see, well, as I'm feeding him, he's slowly growing and he'll get all the way up to big, the big size. And I believe the hay bales, if you feed them that, they seem to grow a bit faster. See, he's got huge steps when he's doing that. And uh, if you try to click them with any item that they don't want, they'll do this rearing you know, animation where they'll kind of buck. And that, that's how you know. Here's a baby donkey over here. But yeah, you can feed them up from babies, and then once they're adult and they've grown all the way, you can actually jump on their back and try to break them. And I believe it's a little easier if you... See, he just automatically likes me because I fed him up from a baby. So it's a little easier to do that if you're going to find a foal and, uh, and raise them up that way. So yeah, there's horses everywhere. I want to get into some of the other features before I show you my horse obstacle course thing. Now we got the hay bales. Uh, another really cool feature over here I want to show you guys is the wool carpet. Now, if you take two wool blocks of any color and put them side by side, it doesn't it doesn't really matter as long as they're side by side. They can be anywhere on the crafting table. You can make any of these colors of uh, wool carpet, and these baby zombies seem to love to jump up and down on the carpet here. Uh, I, I originally put a bunch of baby zombies in this crib because I made a mobile of animals. This is another thing you can do with leashes is hook it to an animal and <laughs> you can actually have them kind of like hang up in the sky. And uh, I'll, I'll get back to that, that in a second. I wanted to show you guys the carpet first. I don't want to get too distracted. But basically, you can grab this carpet and lay it flat over a surface. So no more need to build uh, several uh you know, several thick floors and ceilings. Because normally, say you would have a ceiling like so, you would have to build it too thick. Because one of the one of the the uh, the layers was going to be this is going to be the carpet for your f one floor, and this will be the ceiling for the bottom. But no longer, you can make your your floors just one thick, and then take a carpet and put it straight over there. And there you go, you have your nice wool carpet. One of the variations I saw on Reddit here, someone had a sleeping bag, which is basically just the bed colors flat on the ground. I thought that was really cool. So I had this over here by the campfire. That, so the carpet is a nice little aesthetic thing, and I, I added this crib, and as you can see, I was talking about the uh, the mobile here with the, <laughs> with the animals, and I actually have something here I can do. Let me uh, try to grab this leash off of here. Bam. This is old Dusty. He's my donkey. Um, <laughs> I named him using the mob spawn egg naming. Right now there's no way to name mobs like that. But I can actually take old Dusty and clip him up here, possibly, if it'll let me. Did it grab it? Uh, there we go. And now old Dusty, whoa, he fell. But if I can get him to hang here, you can see he's now a pinata for a few seconds before he falls again. It's a lot easier to actually build and have them stand right under it like so and then drop them. But you can make like pinatas. It actually seems really cruel to have them like this, but you know, that's uh, <laughs> that's just one variation that you can use the leash thing for. Now, so we've gone through most of the stuff here. Another thing uh, that I wanted to mention is mob difficulty. Now, uh, supposedly Dinnerbone has added that feature in where you'll see less mobs as you first settle, but the longer you stay in an area, the more mobs you'll see, and they'll have more enchanted armor and different stuff like that, so you're going to want to watch out for that if you're building a base. Now, oh, another thing I want to show you before I get into the, the finale is just going to be my, uh, my horse course that I built, and I think it's pretty cool, so you guys want to stick around for that. But one more thing I wanted to show you that is really cool is the uh, the respiration helmet. And you can see how dark it looks normally. Now if I put on this respiration helmet, BAM! It is super light in comparison. You can actually see way better. It's pretty close to the the um, Optifine's clear water feature. I can see all these squid swimming around. And this is really nice. Like It's a, a very nice added benefit to having a respiration helmet. So now you can see underwater a lot better. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Now, uh, one more thing before I was going to show you also, yeah, I, I mentioned this before, but if you're in a boat, uh, you have to use shift to get out, but that also means that you can shoot arrows while you're in a boat, which is pretty cool. While you're moving around in the boat, you can shoot arrows into a pig, but yeah, you have to use left shift to jump out of there. Now, uh, You'll notice uh, if you download the snapshot, there's a new launcher that has been added. I mentioned this before in some news uh, news videos, but the new launcher actually uses Java 6. This new version uses Java 6, and also 
the OpenGL has been updated, so it might be a little harder for some people to run if you've got older computers, but it actually runs pretty good for me. I've been getting a pretty decent frame rate going around, even with all these animals and stuff everywhere, so it has been fairly promising. Now, before we get into this, I want to put on my, uh, I'll go into F5 here, and I'm going to put on my jockey armor, and then, uh, so I've got my jockey costume on here, and then we're actually going to do a little bit of horseback archery and riding around. I'm going to put it back to day. And this is Epona. <laughs> He's, this is the nice variation where it's got the like white on the legs and on the head. I'm going to jump on Epona, break her off of her leash thing here. There we go. And I'll jump in and wish me luck because I'm going to go through this obstacle course. you got to charge your jump a little bit to get over fences. There we go. I'm going to go through this obstacle course and try to hit those uh, targets I got on the hay bales as a finale. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and let's do this obstacle course. There we go, and uh, <laughs> can try to shoot. Oh, I hit one already. Nice. All right, let's try to hit the other one as I go back. It's a little hard to shoot while you're moving. The horse kind of moves a little odd if you haven't noticed. Like if you're moving sideways, it goes. There we go. I got that last one. Let's go through, and I'm gonna try to charge my jumps and get over these. Whoa! Jump over here. Whoa. There we go. And now for the second, the uh, too high one. This is gonna be a little tougher. There. Oh, almost got it. Let's back up again and try it <laughs> once more here we go oh there we go i got it now three high this is the one i was saying that is tough and i can't make it oh i made it over whoa <laughs> i managed to do it okay I hadn't, I hadn't actually done that before i didn't think it was possible but we did it the opponent must be a better jumper than some of my other horses because here she goes oh she almost went over okay thank you guys for watching uh this is pretty awesome. I didn't think I'd be able to make it over there. But there we go. Nice. All right. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, uh, if I didn't mention it before, horses like pigs can actually walk straight over blocks if they're one high. One last thing. Sorry for uh, getting a little flabbergasted here. Oh, and I almost forgot this. Carpets can be pushed by pistons. Pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And sorry for the uh, overflow of information. It's a bit of a longer video today, but there is so much cool stuff, and I'm always excited when a new mob is added. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. And one thing I actually didn't test, I want to try in the last seconds here before we're done. I'm going to try something, and hopefully it works. I didn't try this before. Bam, 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 bam. We're going to make an iron golem, and we're going to make a snow golem. And I'm going to... Oh, they're trying to fight the baby zombies. I didn't think about that. And we're going to put a leash on them. Yep. <laughs> so I can I can lead this snow golem around and leash him. What about the iron golem? Yes. Okay, cool. So if you want to have an iron golem bodyguard, this is the way to do it. Just leash him up and there we go. <laughs> okay. Thanks once again for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time for more Minecraft snapshots. Goodbye.